and the, the doctor said that she should uh, test a cold on the hand, and then after that, the doctor said that she's okay. Yeah. Don't yeah. test anymore. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because because they're not going to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's it. All day. Exactly. So are we? Um, I, oh yeah, so then we come to tumors, but tumors of the brain, there's two kinds. Um, we're okay with strokes and hemorrhage. So tumors, there's uh, two kinds. There's benign. And then there's malignant. Actually, uh, tumors are it, 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 some people. Okay, it's, uh, benign tumors. Uh, usually, you won't die from them. They don't spread. But malignant tumors are cancer. And that means that they can spread and they can cause you to die. Now, usually uh, tumors in the brain, they don't spread because you die from them before they spread. Yeah. But uh, in the brain you get, and, and I, I think depending on the age, like benign tumors are also common in the brain as well as malignant ones. You, have, you can have the benign ones or the bad ones. So when somebody t when somebody uh, is told they have a brain tumor, it doesn't mean really bad news until you know which kind it is, if it's benign or malignant, and we need to know that. Yeah, malignant ones can be treated, but usually you die eventually of them. The benign ones they can be taken out and everything can be fine. Uh, you can also have benign and malignant tumors in other parts of your body. For example, in your womb, you can have benign and malignant tumors. Yeah, and myoma. Myoma. Myoma, yeah. Myoma. Yeah. 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 That's benign. Yeah, yeah. myoma. And then we call tumors or myoma. Pardon me? When do you call tumor or myoma? If you would call it a tumor, a myoma is a benign tumor of muscle. Of muscle. Of muscle. Yeah, yeah. It's a benign tumor of muscle. muscle. That's a myoma. And myoma. Myoma, that's a myoma. That yeah. Myoma. Yeah, it's a muscle. Muscle, yeah. And in, in your, for example, in your womb, mm -hmm. uh, your womb do, is, is, is muscle. It's, yes. it's not the same kind of muscle as in your arm or your leg. It's called smooth muscle. This is, is a different kind of muscle. It's called striated muscle. Mm -hmm. But the one in your uterus is a myoma because it arises in muscle, mm -hmm. the tumor. Yeah. But it's benign, usually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have, we, have we exhausted? Have we done enough? Uh, Anatomy today. Any other questions about this? Yes. Yes. Oh, upper abdomen and lower abdomen. Okay. Uh, so this is this is the umbilicus or the navel, the navel. Yes. And. Um, Above the navel is upper abdomen, below the navel would be lower abdomen. So this 
below is the, uh, so the, your appendix is in the lower abdomen mm -hmm. on the right side. Mm -hmm. uh, upper abdomen, your stomach, your pancreas, your spleen, your liver. Okay. Upper abdomen. Yeah. And here, the lower abdomen is appendix, and then your bladder is down here. Bladder is, and your uterus are in the pelvis. Uterus. Your womb. Your womb. Your bladder and your womb are in the pelvis. Help me on pelvis. Pelvis is, is this part here. That's the pelvis. Pelvis. So we have upper abdomen, lower abdomen, pelvis. And the pelvis is where the bladder, the bladder for urine, the womb, the ovaries, those lower. Yeah, in the pelvis. Yeah. It's like the base. It's like a basin. Yeah. Um, and uh, so in the lower abdomen, you also have your your large your colon. Yeah, colon. Is lower? Is in the lower. Well, part of it. Part, part of it is in the upper. Yeah. is in the upper. Yeah, part of it. Part of it is in the upper because it goes like this. It goes. It goes from from the appendix up here to your liver, then over here in front of your stomach, and then down. That's your colon, your large bowel, your colon. So that's the way it goes. So part. So part of it can be in the upper abdomen. And then it goes down like this. So when you have a colonoscopy, uh, they put the scope in, and it goes all the way around to your appendix. Yeah, that's why when you have a colonoscopy, you have to make sure your colon, your bowel, is empty because they can't see with the with the camera if it's not empty. So you have to sit on the toilet for half a day yes. to make sure it's all empty. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that, that it goes. Um, mm -hmm. And that's the large bowel, but the small bowel, the small bowel is is much longer and it's all inside there. Okay, so because the small bowel goes from your stomach yes. all the way down to your appendix mm -hmm. and then it's large bowel. Yeah, it's shorter. My drawing is not good, but you get the gist. Okay. Yeah, so how, um, how, what age, uh, or do people have colonoscopies? Colonoscopy? Colonoscopy is for to look at your large bowel because in Western countries, I don't know about Thailand, uh, cancer of the large bowel is very common. It's common here. Yes. Yeah. So, so it's important to have colonoscopy every five years in Canada. Five years or ten years? I'm surprised because some doctors say it's five years, some doctors say it's ten years. We usually say five years, five or six years, if they don't find anything. Mm -hmm. If they find something, then it should be every one or two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like if they find a polyp, it's called a polyp in the bowel. Yeah. Okay. I think that's enough for today. Do you? Yes. <laughs> I will be a doctor.
And uh, we're here tomorrow. Uh, come tomorrow. Yeah. Well, yes. Bye. Okay. <laughs>